Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's beauty throwback. So I know I just did an eyeshadow palette yesterday, but I really wanted to try and talk about the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lid paints. There's a lot of claims and we're going to go ahead and try them out. So if you'd like to see if these are worth picking up, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on the daily uploads. I also do have an OnlyFans page dedicated to this channel. You can watch tomorrow's video there today for free. It might be a little haul, a little fall haul. Um, I also, you can chat with me, live streams, all sorts of stuff. Link is down below if you'd like to check that out. Okay, so I obviously got these on sale. Uh, they were on sale for $2.24. They're originally around $9, but these are supposed to be highly pigmented, waterproof, crease-proof, fade-proof. They're also cruelty free because they are from CoverGirl. And I picked up four different shades and I'm gonna do some swatches and I'm also gonna be doing an eye look with this. So um, I'm super, super excited. So it's a creamy lightweight formula, dries down smooth, lids feel comfortable all day. So sounds good. Um, but I picked up some neutrals and then also a bright, two brights and two neutrals kind of. Okay, so I picked up, this is called Night Night, and it is a turquoise, and you do get 0 .10, 0 0.16 fluid ounces, so not a ton, but I mean, it's a, it's a cream eyeshadow. You usually don't need a ton of that. This one is Sorry Sweetie, and this one looks like a really pretty kind of taupe shade, so I'm excited to try this one. And then I have here is High Gorgeous, and this is kind of like a light copper gold shade. So, ooh, that one's really, really pretty. And then the last one I picked up, it looks kind of like a steely lavender, and it's called Stargazer. So we'll go in and do some swatches and everything, but ooh, that is so pretty too. Okay, I'm gonna start with Stargazer, and we'll go ahead, let's Okay, so it's a little like squeezy tube, which is fine. I mean, it might be good to like go ahead and like put this on a palette or something. Oh, that is super creamy and super metallic. So that's Stargazer. And I do like, they do have like the names on the bottom. So this is Sorry Sweetie. They're pretty thick. Like when you're trying to squeeze it out, it's a pretty thick formula. Oh, that's pretty. These are like foiled, foiled shadows. We'll do the turquoise one next. I'm super excited about that one. Uh, night, night. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so pretty. They're very, very pigmented. They are pigmented. And then the last one is High Gorgeous. I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean my finger off so that way I'm not doing any kind of mixing. But I bet you could mix these to make your own custom color. I don't wanna do something totally boring. Uh, my makeup's pretty neutral today, like the lipstick shade. So, so pretty. No kind of scent. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do two different shades. I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, Sorry Sweetie. It's the kind of light, taupey shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put just a tiny bit on the back of my hand. Just a little, just a little bloop. We'll go ahead and start that, and then we'll do uh, probably the turquoise shade on the outer corner. So let's just go ahead. I'm assuming that these are gonna dry down pretty quickly. So these are definitely the type of shadow, if you just like threw this on the lid and then put like a little bit of bronzer or something in your crease or something, you could definitely get kind of a one shadow and done type of look. That's really, really pretty. Very light, you know what I mean? But it definitely gives like that high fashion kind of glossy lid, which I personally like. But eye glosses are sticky AF and 
they're not long wearing, so. I did not prime my eyes where it says that it's like long wearing, crease proof, waterproof. I definitely wanted to put that to the test. Okay, so that's on. I know it's not super, super visible because of the shade, but we're going to go in with Night Night, which is the dark turquoise shade. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, oh, sweetie. Can you grab my makeup brushes? Sorry. I have my makeup brush cup over on the sink to uh, wash, but I want to go ahead and try using a brush, seeing if we can get this worked in with a, see, I need to wash some of them. Okay, so I'm gonna use a dense pencil brush and I'm gonna use that to work this onto the outer corner. And a little bit into the crease. So yeah, these do dry down pretty quick. So you don't have a ton of time to uh, play with them. but it's blending nicely with the brush. You can let me squeeze out a little bit more. Definitely start with a little bit. You can definitely build up if you need to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run a little bit of this underneath my lower lash with the same pencil brush, but get that going. definitely more of like a wash of color. I think you could build these up a little bit, but it's definitely more of just a nice pretty wash of color. But the finger works, brush works, so it's like kind of patching right here. I like that though, it is really pretty. What are you doing for? So, as some of you guys probably knew, we had a mattress on the floor, and uh, Sean has to have back surgery uh, and get a fusion. So, um, my mother in law was super sweet. She bought us a bed, like the frame, box spring, new mattress, everything like that. And Thor, we were kind of concerned Thor wouldn't like get up on the bed because it's kind of a skittish cat. Nope, first day. He was up on the bed. He likes it and he loves going underneath it. He's never had like an underneath part of the bed to go under. So it's pretty cute to watch him uh, kind of explore underneath the bed. He was really skittish at first when we first got the bed, but he's definitely calmed down and yeah, he likes it. Okay, so yeah, these blend really, really nicely. Very creamy. You just have to work fast, which a lot of cream shadows are like that. So not too disappointed with that. I'm gonna go in and try to build just a little bit on this eye where it's a little bit patchy, which I don't know why. But let's see if it layers. A lot of times with cream shadows, if you try to layer, you're just going to remove the first layer, but this does seem to be layering nicely. So you can build these up for a more intense kind of look. I mean, yeah, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit more of um, the Sorry Sweetie. I'm gonna build that up as well and try to get it blended a little bit better with a fluffy brush. It is really comfortable. It does feel very, very lightweight, which is nice. A lot of times the cream shadows, like cream metallic shadows can feel kind of crunchy on the eye. And this is not, which is lovely. So I'm gonna gently try to do a little bit of a blend, which might not be possible, but we'll try. might look better once we get some mascara on, a little bit of liner. But yeah, it feels very, very lightweight. 
dry down very, very quickly. So yeah. Okay, so here is the eye look. It did build very, very nicely. I was able to get a nice somewhat blend between the two shades. Um, yeah, I mean these, it's, it's like done. So I am going to throw in some liner, some mascara, all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you here in just a sec and uh, I'll give you my final impression of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lid paint. So be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. The liner went over the metallic cream shadow like a dream. Um, I did use the Glamnetic. I really do love them. I don't have to even mention them again, but I will go in and leave um, these linked down below as well as the liner. But uh, yeah, the liner went over beautifully. Um, and I really think the mascara and the lashes really complete the look. I really like the Exhibitionist Lid Paints by CoverGirl. Very lightweight. Um, I'm, gonna heck of a, I'm gonna have a heck of a time getting this off the back of my hand. So I have already tried washing my hands. It's not coming off. Um, so I'm gonna definitely have to use some kind of oily cleanser to get this off, but I really think they're pretty. Um, I don't know if I would recommend trying to do two shades because um, it is a little bit hard to get a blended look. That's just the way it is with cream shadows sometimes. So I think that these are best for the one, one color and done type of eye look, or um, I think this would be beautiful over like a powder shadow and you just want a really high intense finish, metallic finish, then yes, I think the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lid paints would be perfect for that type of thing. This is probably one of the best cream shadows I've used. Um, even though it dries down quickly, you do have a little bit of wiggle room to Get them blended and sheared out if you want and uh, I think it just turned out really really pretty so I do recommend these I will go in and link these down below it'll be an Amazon affiliate link you're welcome to use them you definitely don't have to but anyway there we go um, I hope you did enjoy this week's beauty throwback if you did please go in and give a video a thumbs up and share it let me know down below in the comments if you have used the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lid paints. What did you think of them? Or what is your favorite cream shadow? I would love to know that down below as well. And uh, just so you know, I do have a an eBay page. It's Anne, not A. It, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a little Facebook group where we get together and we share memes, new looks, hauls, all sorts of stuff. So links are down below as well. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.